coming to you from the Zappos Theater on the Las Vegas Strip. I learned something interesting today. Wow, that's real nice of you. Thank you. Did you know that on this very stage back in 2015, Steve Harvey mistakenly told Miss Columbia she was Miss Universe <laughs> and then forgot to say April Fool's afterwards. So there's a lot of history here. We've been having a very good time here in Las Vegas. I rolled into town with a one-year-old, a uh, four-year-old, my parents and my mother-in-law. Not exactly the Rat Pack, but you know, you do what you have to do. <laughs> but Vegas is a great place for kids. They have sharks and dolphins. They have a pool in every hotel. There's a Ferris wheel. There's a butterfly sanctuary. It is also a terrible place for children. <laughs> there are strippers on the sidewalk. <laughs> there are trucks advertising girls to your room with naked women on them. There, people are smoking, people are gambling. There are bachelorettes crying and carrying their shoes. <laughs> and you know, kids, they, they soak it up. And so we're crossing the street from the link, just down the block, and we're waiting for the light to change, and there's a country song blasting out of Jimmy Buff Buffett's Margaritaville, just blasting. And it's a song called Hicktown by Jason Aldean. I think it came about, out about 10 years ago. So, do you know this song? In the middle of the song, he says the word butt crack. He sings, uh, <laughs> you can see the neighbor's butt crack uh, nailing on his shingles. And my wife heard it and she reacted. My, our daughter Jane, who's four, looks up and she's like, well, what are you laughing at? And my wife's like, oh, I'm not laughing. And Jane doesn't bite. She's like, well, what was that word you were laughing at? And she says, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't laughing. Let's... But then the light <laughs> changes to cross the street, and Jane just starts shouting, butt crack, butt <laughs> crack, in all different ways, 48 times. People are laughing, they're staring. She, it was the longest crosswalk ever, and <laughs> now that word has become a major part of her vocabulary. So thanks, Vegas, for all the butt crack. <laughs> we gotta get them out of here before they turn out like me. Last night, a bunch of our staff got together for a very late night of carousing, and apparently, Guillermo had a rough night. In fact, I'm not even sure he's gonna be able to make it to the Jimmy, show tonight. Jimmy, 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 because Jimmy, he's, Jimmy, um, Jimmy, Jimmy, he's like, oh, oh, hey. Let's I mean, Tim, I brought some stuff for you. I hope oh, you like this. Wow, this is that good is for nice. everybody tonight. Seriously, this is great. Make what your friends it? wear this when they go out drinking tonight, so when they pass out, just leave them wherever the hell they are. When they're <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back. <laughs> this one's brand new. I mean, it's still wet. It's a new wedding cake for Nicolas Cage. Oh! I put a... That just gets... He's a friend, too. Crap! That's convenient. That's great. Oh, and this is it taco night, or it should be taco night, isn't it? It's taco Wednesday, yeah. It's taco yeah. every night. Yeah. I made this. You want to open a can of beans? It's the Mexican opener. This I see. <laughs> this might be my best stuff ever. <laughs> you just but we got one better than that. It, we, huh? have, we have, <laughs> what else we have the have? deluxe model. This is the deluxe model of the Mexican opener. Oh, OK. You want to see it? It's going to be great. I would love to see it. I think this should open the cans of beers. The Mexican opener. Everybody, right. have a great night. Right. Careful. Oh, crap. It's hard to everybody. How are you feeling? Seriously, how do you feel right now? Uh, terrible, Jim. Terrible, huh? Terrible, terrible. So, um, you heard, you put on quite a show last night. I got a lot of videos this morning. Wow, I don't, yeah. I, I don't remember too much. Well, fortunately, many members of our staff were there and captured it on videotape. <laughs> this is, I thought this would be fun to share with our audience. Is this Guillermo in action doing live karaoke at the Cosmopolitan last night? <laughs> You realize 
you've had your shirt off on the show every night this week. I know. I like it, Jim. I like to show my six-pack. You know, what, what are you doing tonight after the show? What's your plan? Uh, nothing. I'm going to bed. I'm you tired. Are... Really? Yes. Yeah, I find that hard to believe. Nah, I, I, I'm going to party tonight, too. <laughs> Well, we have a fully clothed show for you tonight. Kevin Hart is here. We have music from Marshmallow with churches. A man with a, with a giant marshmallow on his head will be playing music tonight. And that isn't even close to the weirdest thing happening tonight in Las Vegas. Hey, I do want to say congratulations to Carolyn Goodman, who was elected, re-elected yesterday mayor of Las Vegas for the third term. But <laughs> I want to mention, voter turnout, only 22,000 people voted. <laughs> More people saw Donnie and Marie at the Flamingo last week <laughs> than voted for mayor. So one of the great things about Las Vegas, and you don't know this if you don't live here, but we have the best, and by best I mean worst, local advertisements of any city in America. I mean, this is been the case since I was a kid, and I have to say, I was very happy to learn when I turned the television on that this tradition is still alive and well, <laughs> thanks in no small part to a, a store called the Nevada Coin Mart. That's good stuff. That's... <laughs> there, there's a special place in my heart and in the hearts I know of many of you who lived here in the 80s for our ludicrous local ads of the past. And so we combed through YouTube to bring you this TV time capsule of some of the best Vegas commercials from when I was growing up here. Spend seven you go in Henderson, of course. Who shops at The Jewelers? Hi, I'm Larry Holmes. I'm Michael Cooper, speaking for the Jewelers of Las Vegas. I'm Larry Johnson. Winners love to buy their jewelry from Mordecai. If you find it overpriced anywhere for the same quality merchandise, I'll refund the difference to you in cash. And he's not pulling any punches. New furniture shipments from major Las Vegas hotels as low as 10 cents on the dollar. I'm Happy Harry, and welcome to Quality Liquidators. Easy credit. I trust everybody. Quality Liquidators. I make everybody happy. Hello. Oh, hey, Fred, I need your help. Are you talking to me? I really need your help. My owner lost his truck and his credit in a divorce. Now he can't take me to the park anymore. That's right, Fred. No problem. I cannot even finance you. Did you hear that? If I can finance him and I will, I can finance you. Yeah. This is the best. Hey. So that guy, <laughs> the gentleman who said, if I can finance him and I will, I can finance you, was Fred. Fred happened to be the second famous person I ever interviewed on the radio when I was on the radio here. The first was the great fighter Leon Spinks, who is here with us tonight. Where is Leon? Leon's right there. Welcome, Leon. Heavyweight champion of the world. That's right. <laughs> Fred, sadly, was unable to attend. Well, thank you for coming, Leon. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.